come to you from Times Square tonight because there's been a major turn in the investigation into the failed bomb plot. The possibility of some foreign connection. You'll remember it took place almost exactly at this hour on Saturday evening. In fact, this was the corner and the car itself was right where this police car is now. And tens of thousands of people were walking by, families taking their children in to see the Lion King. An entire wall of rooms in the Marriott Hotel looking down on this corner. And what do we know tonight about who and what may have been behind it? Our chief investigative correspondent, Brian Ross, has been looking into it all day, and he has news tonight. Brian. Diane, federal law enforcement authorities tell ABC News tonight they are closing in on the man they believe tried to set off the car bomb and that others may be involved with ties to Pakistan. Authorities today continued to review surveillance footage, including this shot of the Nissan Pathfinder as it passed the Saturday night Times Square crowds. Another one of the 86 cameras that ringed the area saw a possible suspect taking off a blue shirt with a red shirt underneath as if to throw off pursuers. He is certainly somebody that we are looking for and want to speak with, but we are following a number of other leads uh, as well. Officials say the most important leads come from the vehicle itself and its unexploded bomb parts, propane canisters, gasoline containers, and alarm clocks. There's a treasure trove of, of DNA, latent fingerprints, and other evidence. Today, teams of New York police and FBI agents were sent to Connecticut, where the Pathfinder had been originally purchased at this dealership. The SUV's registered owner told the FBI he sold the vehicle through Craigslist last month in Connecticut to a Latino or Arabic-looking man in his 20s or 30s. Its stolen license plates came from a Connecticut auto repair shop. Federal authorities now tell ABC News the Connecticut connection to the car involves several individuals. Apparently, the authorities uh, have figured out enough that they believe there's a foreign connection. They may even believe they know uh, some of the people involved, and they may be moving in. Authorities say another clue involves a video posted online early Sunday morning after the attempted bombing, claiming responsibility on behalf of the Taliban in Pakistan. The site was registered one day before the attempted attack, and federal law enforcement officials say the persons who posted the video live in Connecticut and are also being sought. Tonight, law enforcement authorities also tell ABC News there is a person of interest, a man described as a naturalized American citizen from Pakistan who just returned from five months in that country. He's being sought for questioning, Diane. Major development tonight. And you're saying that that online video may have been posted by the people they're watching? By the very people they're watching. They may have posted that site uh, the day before the uh, uh, attempted uh, bomb here. So they are really closing in on these people with hard evidence, all kinds of clues. They were very clumsy bombers.